Are you ready to finally see what's inside here? Because I know I am. Let's go. Let's see what we have. This one looks really rusty. Welcome, Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeebus, guys. And today we're going back to the 10 by 10 that you guys got teased with last time. So we're going to go hit that $320 storage unit that looks to be full of chests and, oh, I don't even know what else. All kinds of awesome treasure shit. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new. Let's go. So here we are at the 10 by 10 unit we paid $320 for. This is the reason we came out here. This unit looks loaded and there's something interesting I'm gonna tell you a little bit later in the video about this unit that we already know. But without further ado, let's get into it. So one reason we bid on it right off the bat is because we need a few more of these tables and we pay about, what did you say, $35, $40 for these at Walmart if you buy them retail. So we got one new table for the flea market and two new tables. So the, like I said yesterday, in my eyes, it's taking $80 off our bill because that's 80 bucks we would have spent in the store. So let's call this a $240 storage unit. Sounds a little bit better that way. Another thing we kind of wanted to need is a dolly. And look at that. How nice of this unit to provide us with two tables and a dolly that we need for ourselves before we even start to get into the stuff we're going to resell. That's so sweet. Where should I start here? Get the other dolly too. The other one? Get out. Get out. Look at that. That's a high tech one. Right this one's got that in a ladder, like built into it. Look at that. You can use it as a ladder or a dolly. That's what's up. We'll sell one and probably keep one, maybe sell both. I have no idea. But two nice dollies and should I just start bringing the totes down? Yep. Let's do it. Tote number one is heavy, but it sounds like kitchen stuff, but some of the stuff is really expensive. Ugh. You are heavy. <laughs> what is that? Just the top to, oh, probably the top to this thing here. Look at the little mini cast iron pan. A little grilled cheese pan, as I'd call it. <laughs> this thingy right here is complete because that's what goes on top of it. That's nice. What is it? Tabletops Unlimited, made in Thailand. Hopefully, it's got some good value to it. What was the one brand that we found that was worth so much money? Um, English I, something. Yeah, I don't remember. Look at that. Hmm. Decorative piece. Yeah. What is that? Just a toaster. Hey. PlayStation 2 bowling game. Probably not in. Oh, it is in there. I'll take that back. An all PS2 bowling game. Look at this. A Bayer book bag. I think there's money in there. $1,000. Million? $10 million? Nothing. $10 million. <laughs> um, what else do we have? Just a little cooking stuff. If it's not expensive brand, we just set it out at the flea market and usually get like a dollar a piece for it all. What is that? Beamy? Really other laser pointers. Oh, Ooh. Kat's got a new one. And in here, spices. What is that? Tea. Uh, toothpicks. Just all the kitchen stuff pretty much. I don't think that's enough. It's too valuable in there. It looks like just all kitchen stuff, so let's put it aside. Tote number two, maybe a toss up on the side. It says figurines, but on the top, it says shoes. So, what do you think? Feels? Shoes. More like shoes. Let's see. And it's neither one. A gross San Francisco Giants pillow. An old cat stocking. And what is that? Just a photo album with nothing in it. Oh, there are some shoes in there, so give them credit. There's like two pairs of shoes in here. And they don't look like they're in that great of shape. But other than that, it's just Christmas decoration. So, they're kind of right on both ends. There are figurines in there, and there are shoes in there. So, you know what? These people might be actually accurate in their labeling. But, all I see is a couple dollars here and a couple dollars there. It's maybe $10 for that whole tote. Nothing special. Now, let's get into this plastic thing. The great thing about these are... These type of containers, people always want to buy them. Every time we take them there, we always sell them all too, so. Yep. What do we got? Looks like some type of marble top something. All right. I don't, I, I, I don't know. 
no idea. Photos. Not really. They're just empty. They just want to save their photo things for some reason. Okay. Uh, what is this? 40 years dedicate service to the carpenters. All right. We have a carpenter's unit. This is just another photo album that's empty. Oh, there's a couple on there. Old wedding photos. You know we always give the photos back. Old things looking like photos. Yeah, it might be. As far as I can see, it's all pictures. So, eh. I mean, we would literally only sell photo albums for like a dollar or a frame for a dollar. So we'll probably just give this, send this whole tote back because it's not really worth dealing with it, honestly. So, no value there. So we got an Xbox now and it says pictures and stars. That's a little odd. Let's see. Get up. Get, 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 get. Okay, it's not gonna cooperate. We got a blanket, another blanket. Um, this, is, this is a giant star. Like a giant Christmas star in there. I don't want to unravel it. There it is. Is this also another star? Another Christmas star. Why does somebody need so many? I thought you just put one on top of your tree. <laughs> it looks like decorative stuff. Uh, everything in here is just randomness. Whoa. Look at that. A giant spider on it. That's kind of cool. This is another star right here. Another one. Let's see. This mirror's got a uh, little cat on it. Try to get some of these pictures out the way really quick. All right. And this one, it's like a little blanket in there maybe. What do you think? Like a yeah, um, these might be like the what, these funeral are, things. Yeah, this is when somebody passed away for sure. But I'm not sure what that actually is. It's like a real picture. Yeah, yeah. It is. So that'll stay in there. These are just blankets, picture frames, and a bunch of religious things in there. These little things down here might sell for a couple bucks, but nothing too big or anything like that. So, mm, we're not really a valuable box. Some of this, this might have been up at the funeral, and if that's the case, we'll probably just return that back anyway. So, not a really valuable box there either. So, we just found this old looking toolbox hidden behind some picture frames, which makes me kind of think, what do you think they put in there? Let's see if it opens. Ooh, are you ready? No, looks like a bunch of personal stuff. Here's some one cent stamps. I wonder if that has any value. Credit cards. <laughs> well, I hope they didn't. Uh, a bunch of random little things in here. What are these? Are they little passport books? No. Oh, that's what they look like. No, they're like something to do with carpentry. Hey, okay. come here. What is that? Un peso. Nothing special. All right. mm, nothing in there, but it folds out to a lot of freaking old mail and stuff. This is definitely the kind of stuff that we're going to have to look through because this is the kind of stuff where in our second unit we found just like tons and tons and tons of cash. It was just like this in a box, a bunch of little envelopes like this. This is where we found like I think it was like 800 some dollars worth of just straight cash. So I'm going to skim through it really quick, but we'll definitely go through all these in like super detail at a later time because it's going to take us a long time. Long, long time. And yeah. I don't see nothing in there right now, but like I said, we'll let you know. So we just pulled down this little blue thingy, and let's see what's in there. A blue jar full of silverware. Do we have any real silver silverware? That's the question. If I can get one of these out, I don't think it'd be that hard. They do look old, don't they? Yeah. Stainless china, though. So nothing too expensive, I wouldn't think. We'll look everything up on eBay just to make sure it's not worth selling singularly. If not, blue market it goes. Just a bunch of old jeans. Something's still new. What, what's the tag on? This thing. It's a universal fit savvy coupe something. Oh, just a pair of pants. No fun there. I don't see a price tag on them anywhere. They ripped it off, so probably a gift. 
bunch of jeans. They're Levi though, so they are worth looking into. Because some Levi's are worth a lot of money. I forgot. There's some way to tell if they're old or not. I don't remember. So if anyone knows, Wasn't let it? us know down in the comments below because I'm not too sure. We have a little bell. Let's see, photo albums. Mm -hmm. Go back to personal. This is all wow. photo. This is all pictures, I think. Yeah, Maybe. Slider things. Uh oh, hold on. What is this? No, they're all photos. But is that what's in the envelope? They're trying to hide a million dollars. No, it's just photos. <laughs> all right, so a little empty beer can, beer bottle. Definitely, definitely all for them. Well, nothing in there either. Looks like there's a lot of photos in the back, but the rule that goes. The crappy stuff goes in the front, the valuables go in the back, and we're just now touching the front, so we're not giving up hope. So we have a first here. We pulled this tote down, and look at this. They zip-tied the side so nobody can get into it, which makes this a little bit interesting. Luckily, they left us some knives. So let's see what we got it here. There we go. One. Oops. Let's get into two. Come on. Did I cut it? Yep. Yeah. Well. Let's see what they're trying to protect with zip ties. What is this junk? Ew, it's just dirty papers. Why are you trying to protect dirty papers? It's probably like, of all the toasts we've gone through so far, this is like the worst looking one of all. This is just like insurance papers and junk like that. Um, what's the point of this? It's one of these, I don't like when I see lots of paper. I feel like we have just a hoarder. But that's all paper. No point in digging any further than that. All right, I'm gonna bring around this one now. Let's see what we have. Kitchen stuff, which isn't really exciting, but it does sell. It's not for very much. Why do they have these things wrapped up? Oh boy, a freaking fruit. Who said I wanted? Let's see, let's play Guess the Fruit. What's this one? A banana. A banana. Nope, corn. You lose. Aww. Okay, we're not playing that no more. But kitchen stuff. Blender is usually five bucks. Coffee maker thing, five bucks. Dollar a piece for the fruit. That's about a $15 tote, but it's just not exciting yet. All right, so we got another little box. Come on. Where's the boom? Where's the big money? The knife just tried to kill me. I'm glad I was a butter knife. <laughs> I just broke the number one rule. I cut towards the sausage. Oh well. <laughs> Today's a rule breaking day. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, CDs. A bunch of CDs. Let's see if there's anything anyone's ever heard of. Tony De La Rosa. Are they in there? That's the big question. They are in there. Alright, so. Probably. Maybe look into clutter. This whole box of CDs. Look at that. And a few records. This. This. Where's Elvis? <laughs> and that one. So, yeah, nothing too exciting there, but the records maybe worth something. The CDs maybe worth something. It's just, I don't know. I really, really don't know. We use declutter to check if it's worth more than a dollar in declutter, it's probably worth looking up. And if it's not, it's probably not worth your time. We'll just sell it for 50 cents at a flea market. So until we can do that, we don't know. So we just found this Kirby home care system. It's a, what is it? Multi-surface shampoo system. And it does look like it's in there. I don't know if it's all in there now because I've never seen anything like this in my life. But yeah, that thing. Think it has any value? Because this guy has no clue. So we pull out this little toolbox, right? It looks nice and it might have some decent looking stuff in it, like nothing, but the crazy part is the inside part, random stuff, is locked. And I'm trying to see if there's anything in here that allows us to break into that, like a spoon. And is this silver? No, stainless. Or one of these keys. Is it a regular size key? Super tiny one. Hmm. I think we could just break it with a I knife. I don't know. Some of these locks are so bad. Like they just break in two seconds. I don't want to break this toolbox. I feel like this toolbox has like a little bit of value. Uh, let's set it down first. Hold on. Hmm. Well, 
I thought that did it actually. <laughs> Come on. Break you. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to figure something out and figure out a way to get in there. We'll let you know once we do that. Let's try this system. Ready? Ugh. This lock is tough to be so tiny. Usually these little ones break in like two seconds. Hmm. I mean, I wish I had a hammer to ply it. It'd be easy, but right now, it's not going anywhere. All right, hmm. third plan. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm going to have to set this aside until we find, hopefully, a key or some pliers. A pair of pliers and a hammer would make this very easy, but right now, I don't know. Guys, so we're moving stuff, and we're literally just finding totes and totes and bags of freaking pictures. It really makes me kind of feel like this right now. At this point, I don't really know what so... I don't know. It's just, it's just not turning out good so far. But then again, we've only cleaned about 15% of it so far. We have a lot of room to go, but I'm, I'm, I'm really... That's just really a good embodiment of me right now, right there. Guys, we finally found something that surpassed the 1 out of 10 interest scale. So this is about a 1.5. We found a little box down here. It looks like it has a bunch of little crafting and jewelry things like that. Not stuff we're particularly interested in, but I know a lot of people do like it, so that's why I figured we'd show it. Looks like little gems and rocks and things like that that people use to make jewelry with. So far, this unit is not looking pretty, but then again, we're just getting into it. Same type of stuff, just a bunch of jewelry, a bunch of little rocks, things like that. Nothing that we really see looks real. That didn't. This thing is marked 925 Italy, but we had a gold chain that was marked 14K Italy and ended up being not real gold, so I don't know about that. That might be fake, so I don't know if that's really has any value, but so far, look over here. This is pictures. That's how much stuff just straight pictures we pulled out of this unit. Not like good frames and anything, just either no frames, cheap frames, and just straight pictures. That's it so far. Let's hope that they can't have this many pictures, a whole unit full. But let's just hope that's the end of the pictures and this stuff starts looking good again. So we pulled out one toe down here, which is, take your guess, what do you think it is? Put it in the comments. Pictures, crappy old kitchen stuff, or random trash? It was actually be this time crappy old kitchen stuff that's not like stained up and broken this i don't know why i set it aside it just looks like unique i've never seen it before it looks old it's solid metal and on the bottom it says guardian service patent pending i don't really know if it has any value or anything but just one of those things that's weirdly stood out to me so i'm gonna set that aside but again guys we're just finding pictures and pictures and pictures right now not looking too good at all. So moving on along, we found this weird like wood cabinet thing. Didn't think much of it, but look at the other side. I never see anything like this. On one side of it, it comes out as an ironing board. And then one side is like a cabinet you put stuff in. I don't know if something like that has any value. Probably not, but just thought it was cool. Something I've never seen before. All right, so we have some dishes up here. And it actually looks like they're Noritake China. You dish people always let me know what we have in the comments. And this one says Castle Court Fine China. Our always heard Fine China is money. Let's hope that's the case because we don't see many things so far that are money. But what I have uncovered is an additional two trunks in the back. So right now we're up to four different trunks in this unit. We can't access any of them yet. We want to be able to get this one done today, but the rest of them are buried. There's two more buried and then there's this old antique looking one right there. So a lot of trunks. Let's hope that's where the valuables are. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six of these fine china plates. What's the design on them? I have no idea. You tell me. A flower? A wheat harvest. That's what it says on the back. They're all the same. Mm. Very similar. So hopefully that has a little bit of value to it. If not, we haven't come covered much of anything with any value then. We got chest number one out of here. Let's see what we have. This one looks really rusty. So. Please not... Exes. Yeah, please. Oh, no. Well, Christmas decorations. Even better than that, I see 95 and 50 cent big lots tags on it. So you know it's good quality Christmas decorations, too. And Rudolph, with your nose so bright. Well, would you guide us to some profit tonight, please? Because we don't see it yet. Uh, yeah, I wish I had something nice to say, but I really don't. And I was taught... Don't say nothing if you don't have nothing nice to say. I finally found something that puts a smile on my face. Plus an extra tote. Ow! Oh. And it was not about to run away from me. A freaking Nintendo 
GameCube. Nice. Oh, not much value anymore, but it's got a Pac-Man game with it. That's, where's that? Little discs. They're in there. I said, not much value, but at least it's something cool to look at. Beats all the trash we've been looking at. So that's in there. The game's in there. It's a nice little case for it. Yeah, it is. That might be worth something, too. Over here, I don't want to take it out. Controller and AV cables. And over here, power brick. So it's complete GameCube. If it works, that's at least some money back. And in the front, they got, hey, Simpsons Road Rage on Xbox, Splinter Cell, and Zuma Deluxe on PC. It's like, I said, it's not much value, but it's just something pretty to look at after all this. Let's see what's in here now. Purses. Purses are decent money. Not much, but unless they're name brand. These are just off brands. Another off brand purse, it looks like. Let's make sure there's nothing in them now. Chaps. I don't think it's worth anything. Not much. Oh, this thing. I used to have this. <laughs> 21. I used to have Yahtzee too. I used to play the crap out of the Yahtzee one. Don't touch my phone. Seriously. Um, woohoo. Yeah. How does this push? Get, get out. He looks valuable. Uh, maybe not. Modella. With a bunch of doggy poop bags. Great. So I know <laughs> what this was used for. It's the poop bag. Yeah, there goes my valuable. <laughs> doggy poop bag. <laughs> Uh, that. Oh, I thought that was army. Is that army? I don't know. Maybe military. I'm not sure. Chalk. Leashes. What is this? Oh, that's not obnoxious at all. They paid thirty-seven dollars for it. Whatever it is. And a lantern. Not much else of interest in there, but I'm just so happy to see that GameCube because it gives me hope that we said the good stuff's still back there. We're not even 30% of the way through this unit. We have only touched one of four trunks. So you know what? There's still a lot of value to be back there. So we're going to go ahead and stop for today. As you can see, we haven't really made a dent in this big boy yet. And all this is pictures over here. And once we get home, we have the tools and we'll break open a lock and see what's in the toolbox. So that's really, really bothering me. It's definitely not the reason I want to go home now because it's driving me crazy. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely not. But well, we're going to go ahead and load up the van and then we'll do a recap when we get home. Now that we're home, we have a few more tools to our disposal. We're going to put some wire cutters to the ultimate test. Do you think some wire cutters can break through a lock? I hope so. I don't think if so. If not, we're just going to have to hammer it. If that's what we're going to do. Hopefully there's leverage enough to go through this thing. Ready? Oh, well, i got to try to like close my hands and cross. Ready? Yep. Nope, it ain't going through it. Huh. It made like a super tiny, barely noticeable indention. The only thing left we can do is we're going to have to put a screwdriver in it, put a hammer in it, and just smash it. Let's go find a screwdriver and a hammer. Couldn't find a screwdriver, but we found a wrench to fit right in there. And we got a hammer. You think this will work? Try it. I don't want to break my hand. It just slid right off. Come on. What do I have to do to get in a toolbox? There's gotta be like a million dollars in here. It's just not moving. It. How are we gonna get into this? You have any idea? I'm just hammer. Just break it? I mean, I mean not necessarily break it, just start hitting down on the lock. Oh, did we just get in? No, we got the wrench in there, look. I think I can twist it now. I feel like it's gonna break the toolbox. That's what I want to do. Let's just keep trying to hit it. It's beating the crap out of the wrench. You're not doing anything. Look at the wrench. Hmm. I don't know what else to do. What do you think we could do, really? I have no idea. We've come to the conclusion this lock's not coming off, but if we cut the little metal piece around it, we'll actually still be able to use it as a toolbox, so we'll still be able to sell it. You think it'll cut this easy? Hopefully. Well, that was easy. <laughs> well, well it never, that, that is one tough little lock. One tough little lock. All right, you ready to see what's in here? Oh, yes, wait. finally. We still can't lift it. Uh-oh. We gotta cut more, hold on. We have to cut this more. Mm. Ugh. 
You still can't lift it because it's too far Let's out. Bend it. I'm trying. Ugh. <coughs> this is so obnoxious. There better be something worth some money in here. I can't get it. Well, as soon as I thought we had a way in here, we're gonna have to try something else. So we had to literally keep bending the metal, snip a little piece, bend it some more, snip it, bend it, snip it, but finally, look, we can open up the freaking toolbox all the way. Are you ready to finally see what's inside here? Cause I know I am. Let's go. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna be tools, isn't it? No! Tools. I think it's all tools. There's a penny in there. Yeah, penny, some tools. That, this, this, that, uh, and I think that is literally all that's inside of the toolbox because this did not lift up. So that was kind of really not worth all that excitement. All right, so let's do a quick little recap of part one of this big unit. So it seems kind of crappy, but when you think about it, we only cleared about 15% of that unit out, maybe 20, uh, probably not more like 15. And right so far, we got the little shampoo thing which sells for between 45 and $60 on eBay. Not bad. Nintendo GameCube has been tested and is working. There was an Animal Crossing game in there, two games in the Pac Man machine, one controller, power brick, and cable. So working GameCube, the case is another 20 bucks. The GameCube is about 35 bucks. So there's about 60 bucks in the GameCube, 40 some bucks for the other thing. That's a little bit over 100 in. We have the Levi jeans. They're not unfortunately like vintage rare ones or anything, but those ones we have are still selling for about between ten and fifteen dollars a pair. So say ten a piece, that's another thirty dollars. We're already about at one hundred thirty, hundred forty dollars on eBay items, not including stuff we'll take to the flea market. And like we said, we kind of just got into the unit, so it's really not all that bad. It's just. I think it was more so I was just so hyped to get in there. I was expecting to just open up trunk after trunk and find like gold, jewelry, million dollars. But now, as I said earlier in the video, we knew a little something about the unit and I'm gonna explain that. So well, the first thing that happened when we bought this unit is the manager of the facility told us the old owner had contacted there and gave, we gave, they gave us their contact information because they wanted to buy back a few of the personal thing. It's just like a quilt in one of the Christmas tree stars. They'll get it back for free, but whatever. That's not the crazy part. The weird part is that not weird but the sad part of this is the reason the unit was lost it was the owner's parents unit who both passed away i don't know if it was last year or the year before but anyway the owners of the unit have both passed away and they have not been able to access it so that means that everything in there is definitely as it was nothing has been touched but it's kind of creepy to me at least when i think about it that now we're kind of going through dead people stuff isn't that a little weird it's a little bit weird to me not gonna lie guys so that's what we figure out as far as the backstory goes so if you did enjoy this video leave it a big fat thumbs up and if you're not already hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos all the time and if you do want to follow us on our social media links they're going to be on screen click the links down in the description below and make sure you follow us on whatever you have thank you so much for watching and until next time peace out